Hey guys, Brian Goes Blue. And Coco too. That came with another movie strip review vlog for you tonight. And tonight, we're seeing... Star Wars, episode one. The uh, Phantom Menace. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I got it. With the whole thing. Uh, so... 25th anniversary. Yeah, super exciting. Um, did you see this for the first time in theaters? Yes. When you saw it? Yep. Okay, when did this come out? Uh, 25 years ago. Oh. <laughs> Oh man. 1999. Oh man. That, yeah, just ignore that. 99. 99, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I was 14. For those of you that are new to the channel or just didn't know or didn't care, uh, I've never seen all the Star Wars movies before. Uh, before Brian, I had never seen them. And um, he showed me the original trilogy last, last year. Yeah, so I saw those. Um, so this was next on the list, and then just just so happens this was the next one to watch this was hitting theater so it's yep. perfect yep. um i'm really excited to continue we've been going to star wars galaxy's edge a lot and while i yeah. do understand a lot there's still so much that i don't know so i'm excited to like finally be in the know about it mm -hmm. so what are your thoughts on this one i mean uh this is i don't know this might be like my second or third favorite with a whole franchise okay i just maybe because i grew up with it um i think it's a lot of fun mm -hmm. uh some of the cgi could be dated and stuff possibly it's 1999 so but yeah, uh keep that in it mind. is directed by george lucas so um and you got some good cast in here you got um obi-wan kenobi's uh, uh you know uh ewan mcgregor i believe mm -hmm. and, natalie uh, portman natalie portman liam neeson um, I'm not sure if Samuel Jackson's in this one. He might be. I don't remember. Okay. It's been a while since I've seen it. But yeah, there's a lot of a lot of good cast in here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, all the things I've heard about Jar Jar, like of course I know all the characters, most of the characters, of course, like the famous one, you know, the main ones I know them. Um, but it, I like when I talk to people, they either hate Jar Jar Binks or they love Jar Jar Binks so it's like it's such a divided thing it's, it's yeah. I, I, I find it funny but so I guess after this I'll know where I stand yeah <laughs> I kind of already have kinda, a feeling kind of grows on you I already have a feeling where I stand but we'll see we're gonna get in there though. yeah it's Except one minute left we have one minute so let's go and yeah wait yeah. to hear our thoughts your re-thoughts and my initial oh, yeah. thoughts we're off to see some Star Wars. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, Darth Maul. Listen, I've never seen this, but I know he's like the scariest to me of like all of Star Wars. Really? Yeah, his eyes. Yeah, yeah he's got those like yellow eyes. And the horns. Mm-hmm, the little, little nub horns. Yeah, he's, he's just a horny guy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, but he really does scare me, so I'm, <laughs> I'm excited for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. This is gonna be fun. Oh, we're at the airport theater, by the way. No airplanes above us right now, though. Nope. No airplanes above us right now. All right, MC. Here we are. We just got to see episode one. Tell you our thoughts in the car. And we're back in the car. Yes, we are. Almost three hours later. Almost, yeah. Well, it's a two hour and 15 minute movie. Mm -hmm. And we did have previews. We saw some new previews, so that was always, mm -hmm. that was always fun. That is always that fun. That was always, always fun. <laughs> That's always fun. So, what do you think of The Phantom Menace? I think it was really good. Cool. I, as these go along, I'll, you know, I'll decide what I like the best, but... I'm partial to the original trilogy yeah. so far, but yeah. I really loved the Anakin backstory. I I loved it so much. I think it was really, it had a lot of heart. Yeah. And um, I really like Darth Maul. <laughs> He's so scary. I said like two words in the whole movie. Yeah, he I, he wasn't in it as much as I thought he was going to be. So that was yeah. a little disappointing for like the villain aspect of it, but um, what else? I still don't know how I feel about Jar Jar Binks. 
I don't know. <laughs> I thought I'd come out and know for sure, but like I think you're right. I think he kind of grows on you. I don't hate him. Like yeah. it's it's hard for me to really hate anything or anyone, honestly. Well, he's all right. Well, um, <laughs> I, I feel, uh, for me, I feel like the whole like Gungan tribe and like all the Jar Jar characters and everything, they kind of remind me of Avatar. Like Avatar yeah. reminds me of, of them. Sometimes. Yeah, and like the whole underwater aspect. Like yeah. I thought that was kind of cool. That yeah. was that was neat. But yeah, I don't know. Do they fit? Well, like they've been a part of it for all these years, so like yeah, of course they fit. But are they necessary? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so new to all of it. I can't like say one way or another. <laughs> um. I think it was... Has everyone else seen this by this point? Is, like, is this a different kind of a, a, a review? Because we're not really spoiling anything because this is 25 years old. Yeah. We still won't do spoilers because there's people out there like me that have never seen this, you know? Yeah, what, I mean... But, no, I was just going to say I really liked the whole inception of R2-D2 meeting C-3PO... And like C three PO wasn't even all put together yet. Mm -hmm. I I really liked seeing that. Um, but my favorite. Oh, and you and McGregor. Whoo! I love you and McGregor so much. Um, I did not first see him in Star Wars. Obviously, I first saw him in Moulin Rouge. Yeah. So that was like my first you and McGregor movie. But I loved him in this and Liam Neeson. So good, so good, so good. But my favorite was Padme. Yeah. Queen Amidala. I loved her so much. Like, they're obvious. It's the same actress. It's Natalie Portman, but they're meant to be two different characters. Yeah. So I like Padme. I'm a Padme girly. <laughs> I really liked her a lot. Um, do we see more of her? Yeah. Okay. Cool. They do. So. Uh, I'm trying to think. The pod racing was cool. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Okay, like, I love Harry Potter, but when I watch the Quidditch scenes, sometimes I kind of, like, zone out. When I'm watching, like, movies where there's, like a, like, a racing scene or, like, is that weird? I feel like a lot of people, like, normal people, when there's an action scene, they're all into it. And, like, normally I am, but with this, with, like, the pod racing, I was kind of, like, like nodding a little bit. I think it's cool. It is but, no, it's so cool. It's just like I kind of find myself just like, I don't know. Is it just because it's like so calming to me? I, I don't know. Well, yeah, that and the fact that you had like three laps and stuff. And they should. I the think whole, that's what it is because it just keeps going and going and going. Sometimes yeah. I don't know what's actually going on. But the pottery scene is kind of long. It's like ten or fifteen minutes. Yeah, maybe that's just what it was. That it was kind of drawn out because I was engaged at the beginning and then I was kind of like oof um I think they back in the 90s they put like a whole um big part of that in, in this movie because it was like a cool new aspect of Star Wars oh you know? that makes a That's lot of I sense think. like they had okay. like they had like the N64 game a pod uh, Star Wars episode 1 pod racer Oh. And like you could play that when you know when the movie came out, the game came out, and stuff like that. So okay, people were playing that. Obviously, I've never seen this, but I remember seeing that scene with Anakin, like in the pod. Yeah, like that was. I feel like that was in like it was every, advertised a lot. It was all over the place. Yeah. I I saw that so many times. Mm -hmm. So yeah, okay, that's cool. Um, I will say one thing. Obviously, like like you said, this one's more heavily CGI. I really loved the whole like puppet aspect of Yoda in the original trilogy and then just seeing him as CGI was a little bit harder for yeah, me yeah, yeah. you know like I really that was harder <laughs> for me you see him he's, he's CGI in 2 and 3 as well so mm -hmm. and also it's like a brain it messes up your brain a little because you have like I'm sitting there like okay well the original trilogy obviously came first in like in our timeline but this is yeah. supposed to be before that but he's CGI but the puppet thing came well before CGI you know what I'm trying to say it, it's kind of like it is still Frank Oz doing his voice um okay. and Frank Oz works with Jim Henson a lot mm -hmm. like all of his stuff so yeah well that's good um and it was also cool seeing um Jabba the Hutt 
even though he's just a blob. <laughs> I still liked seeing him. Um, what were your thoughts, like, watching it again in theaters? And... Um, I mean, if I saw this brand new now, I probably wouldn't like it as much as I do because of the, me liking it as a kid and seeing it when it first came out. Mm -hmm. But, um, so yeah, um, I don't know if I'd put it in my top three Star Wars films if I watched them all now, but, like, just, I don't know. I might think the two or three might be better than mm -hmm. this one now, just rewatching them. Mm -hmm. um, I'd have to rewatch them, but I know that I like three a lot. Yeah. Uh, two is more of a love story. They're, they're all pretty good. Um, a love to me. story that he won't tell me about. I have no idea who it is. Yeah, so you have to watch so, that. That's exciting. Um, so I asked you this when we left the theater. We'll just bring it up again on camera. I asked you, like, if this one is very well liked. Like, you told me for the original trilogy that, like, not a lot of people were crazy about the Ewoks. And, like, that's one of our favorite yeah. things. Airplane. Um, but, like, this like this one, you, you said that it was pretty, like, you think it was well received. I think so. Other than Jar Jar Binks. That really yeah. divided people. And, like, in all Star Wars stuff, it was heavily marketed as far as, like, toys go. And oh, yeah. I know there was, like... Happy Meal toys or Burger King toys. I don't know what, which one got it, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was just very. It was huge back then because yeah, nobody had Star Wars since the beginning of the eighties. Like the, I think the last one was like eighty three or eighty four for Return of the Jedi or oh. something. So yeah, I kind of think about like that too. 15, for fifteen or so years, there was no Star Wars, no new Star Wars. Anyways, it's cool that like there's like these generations of Star Wars, like people that went to the theaters for the original trilogy yeah. and like that was their childhood and then in the 90s you know like we were kids we weren't we weren't that yet we weren't yeah. that little though we were a little older but still like I'm a little sad that I missed that opportunity because I very well could have gotten into this in the 90s you know like but my family just wasn't into Star Wars at all. I had friends my my best friend at the time like her family was so into Star Wars and I remember they had like the memorabilia and the posters and the movies and mm -hmm. I just never watched it so yeah. I wish that I would have then but um I'm glad I get to see him now with you because you're like showing me yeah, this whole and, well I mean I'll show you but then we gotta watch all the series together because I've, I've only seen like mm -hmm. half of the first season of Mandalorian and uh they've just been the last five years they've been pumping out these Star Wars series like left and right there's like the Mandalorian there's Ahsoka there's uh Andor Obi-Wan Kenobi um what, What's the one that we just watched? The Acolyte. Yeah. Coming they out. They showed like a preview, like a sneak preview of that at the end of this movie, which was pretty cool. There's just so many of them coming out now. It's mm -hmm. just crazy. Yeah, it's going to be hard, hard to, keep to, up. Ca to catch up, but we, we'll do our best. Yeah. Um, I really liked Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon Jinn. You know how I remembered his name? Because like, are you impressed that I remembered that? Yeah, because they don't say it for a while. No, because I'm like not great with names either, but... Kwai, like, like how a little kid instead of saying like cry, they would say like Kwai, <laughs> Kwai gone. I don't know, it's silly. Cry gone, Jen. Kwai gone. <laughs> yeah, he was great. I I loved him. <laughs> that old Liam Neeson. Um. Every I feel like every time I ask the group a question, answer it in the comments. I don't know if it ever if it ever gets answered. What? Like, I'll say like for example, I was just about to say, let us know in the comments how you rank this trilogy. You call it a trilogy, right? Yeah, the prequel Versus trilogy. Versus the prequel trilogy. Yeah, yeah, like if you guys want to, I'm not like calling you guys out and saying like you never do what I ask. No, I don't. It, we're cool, but no, um, I'm kind of curious like how you guys rate it because I'm gonna probably rate it myself even though how long has it been since since we watched the the og uh, a year last year yeah okay well okay so yeah. i give this one a three and a half for me just because of nostalgia you probably give it away a three mm, two and a half definitely not two and a half um dang three and a half okay you know what popped in my head to make it? It was like a strong three and a half. Padme and Anakin. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what got me. And a lot of kids, yeah, a lot of people actually back then they didn't like Anakin 
the Jake Lloyd guy playing Anakin. The kid? Uh, the kid, yeah. Why? They thought he was a little bit annoying. So, really? Yeah. But we have nostalgia for him because of... Jingle All the Way. Jingle All the Way, so... That's like the only other thing I recognize yeah, him being in. That, I mean, that helps that yeah. we have that. Um, but also, and I guess this could be considered a spoiler if you haven't seen this, but I, um, I'm excited to see, like, the... I'm excited to see Obi-Wan Kenobi training Anakin to be a Jedi. Yeah. Because, like, I don't know. I just think that's going to be really cool. Mm -hmm. And every, literally everyone else in the world already knows how this goes, how it goes down, the love story. But will, will the love story trump <laughs> Leia and... I'm excited for when we get to finish this series and... Start and, Hans, and watch sorry. the uh, Obi Wan Kenobi show because I want to see what happens because mm -hmm. it's after Episode three and before Episode four, so it's like in the middle. Oh, should we watch that in between? No, no. no. Sorry, that was the longest pause. Leia and Hans. Leia and Hans. Yeah. Hans. I was and saying, Hans. will it trump Leia and Hans? I doubt it, but who knows? Um. So is Hayden Christensen in the next one? Yeah. Okay. Maybe the love story is between him and Padme. I ain't telling Sorry, you. why did I do that? Gross. <laughs> Cut that. Uh uh. It's in there. Gosh, gross. Uh, we've seen like four airplanes go by since we've just been sitting here. Yeah. So that's our review of episode yeah. one, The Phantom Menace. 25 years later. 25 years later. No, this is exciting. Um, and it made uh, number two in the box office last weekend, eight eight point two million or something. So that's pretty good for a twenty five year old movie. Yeah, and I don't know how long is it out for. Uh, well, you said it's still showing. It was still going through Friday night. Next week. Oh no, next week. Through next week. So. Is it just AMC doing it? I don't know. I doubt well, it. Well, check out it. your local theater if you're interested in seeing this in the theater. There was nothing. There is nothing like the screen going black. And then Star Wars pops up and you hear the music. We both looked at each other and smiled. I think we both got a little choked up. There's just nothing like that. Mm -hmm. So for that moment alone, I'd say go out to the theater if you're considering it. Yeah. So. Hmm. Brian goes blue. And Coco too. Sign up, guys. Bye. Bye. May the force be with you.